Hi guys, I'm Zara Raptor today bringing you a new FIFA 12 World Cup team video. And today this is going to be on um, my road 100 goals finally. Um, and this is going to be a 22 minute video. So I'm just going to be like talking about what I'm thinking of doing and talking about the road to 100 goals and the actual game that I play. So first of all, I just pre-ordered FIFA 13. So I get the ultimate edition, and um, I get my packs. So I'll be able to do a pack opening on P13. Also, I'll probably start with the Road to Glory on P13, right at the start when I first edit. And if you have any other series ideas you'd like me to do, um, just leave them in the comments. And if you want me to carry on with the Road to 100 Goals in V13, give this, if you like the video, just like it. And we'll go off how many likes I get on one of my last Road to 100 Goals. So, the game, it was quite difficult. It's not a live commentary, I haven't figured out how to do them yet. But I will try my best to do one. I might be able to figure it out next time. But I do use the through ball quite a lot, the chip through ball quite a lot. And you'll see that in this game. And now we started off with chip through ball to Kurzakov, I who passed it across to M. Nike, but his defender managed to block it. So it's still no no, and he tries a weird shot there, just never went well for him. So mainly off the goal kicks, they always put a player for the short pass. Um, but I trip it over to the left or to the right. So I know we got Wellington through there. And if you have any serious ideas for me on FIFA 12, um, that'll be fine. Um, it's just that I like the road to 100 goals, but I just don't want that just one thing to be involved around my channel, which would be a road to 100 goals. And check this out for a goal. M and IQ beast. That's a lovely goal, wasn't that like the I think that's eleventh minute or something like that. But that was a nice goal from M and Ike. Um great long shot, great power. Couldn't go in top corner anymore. So it was a great goal to make it one 0 and then unfortunately, straight up kick off, Higuain finesses it and beats on a new calf. So it's 1-1, one, one, straight off kickoff. so it hasn't gone very well, it hasn't, but never mind. Um, yeah, so if you do have any serious ideas for FIFA 12 that you'd like me to do, I know it's getting a bit late for them, but just leave them in the comments and I'll see if I can do them, depending on what, on what they are. And, well, yeah, that's about it, really. Um, this game is a difficult game to play. I don't want to tell you the score, I don't want to wreck the game, but it was a difficult game to play. Unfortunately, they blocked M and Ike, so we couldn't get through it. I was trying to get M and Ike in the position where I can have a shot. Maybe I should have shot there and probably gone in, but never mind. So, so that, that yeah, just. I don't want my channel to be evolved around one series. Um, I know I've got my pack openings, but um, they don't come out very regularly. Player reviews is once every week or two weeks. Um, I've got one going on at the minute. I think you'll love the player I'm doing. Um, so that's a lovely goal there from Herman Ike, showing his dribbling skills off there and managing to finesse it into the bottom left hand corner to beat the keeper. Um, yep, yeah, so, and I also have my squad reviews, and I'll do a squad review on this team. Um, it's like a, it's not an expensive team, but it's, it's not cheap as well. There's some cheap players there, it's just to make up the team because of the player who I bought for the player review. It's quite expensive, and I thought that that was an amazing block by my defender. It was a really good block. So yeah, so that'll be out this week, hopefully, towards the end of the week. 
probably my squad reviews and player reviews will start to come out either every Saturday or Sunday or every other Saturday or Sunday so if it comes out this Saturday or Sunday it might be a week or it might be two weeks depending on how long it takes me to get the clips of the team or the player so yeah that should be quite good um, what else have I got um, I've got a f couple more pack openings left not many but like I say I will have a new pack openings for the start of FIFA 13 and I'll just put the players up and I'll probably get some money from that so it should set me up for FIFA and that there from Kozakoff that was a very good volley and nearly went in so this te I'll talk about the team more now with Emma Nike. Um This team is really, really good. It's solid at the back. It, the only thing it does lack a little bit is pace. So I might have to go out and buy a new centre back instead of um, I think what, the Belgium long odd pairs, I think it is, something like that. But Bruno Alves, he's a really, really good centre back. He can, um, he's tall, he can head well, got a look at that, smash the post. Yeah, he can talk, he's tall, he heads it well. He, he's got, he hasn't got much pace, but he, he feels quite quick, so, um, yeah, so, left back and right back, they've got pace about them. And you, Carvin and Zeldi, they're really good players, um, also, the centre mid, Danny, as you know, five star skiller, Honda, five star skiller, and then I just got another player, Nabewa, I think it is, but I might put Carlos in, don't know. But the midfield is solid, it can pass well, it's got pretty good pace about him, uh, them, sorry, and then he goes and scores there with Benzema. It was a pretty nice goal, given that nice little finesse, bottom corner. But the um, the attack is really good on this team. It's got pace. It's got some good skills, good shot, and then good finishing. Like Kozakov has got ninety something in the nineties fit for finishing. Uh, Wellington's got ninety one pace and. Ellen uh, he's just got tons and tons of pace. Well, that, that's not true, is it? <laughs> My bad, sorry. Uh, he's got ton. No, one pairness. He's got. It says he's got good pace, but he doesn't exactly feel as quick. But he makes up for that with his 90, 98, 99 strength, I think it is. Something like that. So he does make up for it. But he is a really good player and I recommend him to you for he's only 600 coins, something like that. Yeah, so I think you'd enjoy him. So at half time it was 2 2 um, with Emmanuel scoring my two goals and Higuain and Benzema for him. So move on to the second half now. Um, I'll just start a quick slalom, slalom run uh, when I get the pass. Mm. Thought, yeah, I did score. Yeah, so straight up kick off. I scored with Wellington. Nice little finish. Um, off kick off. So it was a, that was a good goal. See what I mean? He's got good finishing on him, and his long shots are okay. They're not the best, um, but they are good. But Emmanuel's long shots are really good. His shot power is really good as well. So I do recommend him, and I thought I don't know what and Seldy was doing there, but it's just a bit of a fail. I kick it out for free kick from my own box, and I wanted and Seldy to control it and run with it, but he just didn't. <laughs> he just let it go out for a throw in for some reason. Only he knows. But also another topic is transferred players. Um, just a couple of them are like, um, like Shinji Kagawa from Manchester United. He, I 
think he, he goes for around 40k at the minute um, and he transferred pretty recently not that long ago to be fair uh, but he's a really really good player it was good for um, Borussia Dortmund hopefully he can do well at Man U and he hasn't got a penny ratings but Stats are 86 pace, 88 dribbling, 81 shooting, and 85 passing, 54 heading and 45 defending, which the pace and dribbling, shooting and pass are just amazing. So, and also there's another one in the Barclays Premier League, um, and it is Eden Hazard uh, for Chelsea. He goes for around... Um, I think it's around 80k I think um, I'm not too sure but he's been upgraded by Warren from when he used to play at um, Lille uh, so he starts at 90 pace and 91 dribbling 81 shooting, 78 pass, 62 heading or 53 defending Again, he goes for about 95 to 120k, ranges from that, like that. And he looked a really good player. And like I say, he's going up in up one rating from being at Lille. Um, another player is Jordi Elba. He plays for Barcelona. He's a left back. He's been converted from left mid to a left back and as you can see he's just scored there with Jesus Navas and that was quite a nice goal was a nice finish um, but before the transferred version of Jordi Alba came out he had an inform uh, which was an 83 uh, it's got a 91 pace, 82 dribbling, 69 shots 76 defending, 62, 67 heading, 78 pass and then his normal was just his transfer card go for about 23k, his inform goes for about 50. So his normal stats are 90 pace, 81 dribbling, which is really good for a left back because he's been converted from a left mid. He's got 73 defending, 62 heading, 76 pass, and 67 shot. So also, um, there's Lavezzi. He has transferred from Napoli to. Um, PSG and PSG are just going for the big, big signings. They've just signed the Betsy. Um, he's got up a rating, I'll tell you his stats now. 92 pace, 94 dribbling, 82 shooting, 82 pass, 59 defending, 56 heading. But he goes around 45k. And PSG are just going to. The Liga 1 team net in FIFA 13 or towards the end of FIFA 12 is just going to be amazing, especially PSG because they're going to have Zlatan Ibrahimovic probably because they're looking to sign him and they've done a deal with AC Milan for Thiago Silva as well. So they're just getting all the good players from the Syria and, the, and they're both, well they're, all of them are good players, really good players. You've got a striker, you've got a winger, and they just bring in a defender. And they'll probably be looking to bring in a midfielder as well. But some transfers that I know have happened are... I know Liverpool have signed somebody. I support Liverpool, so... Um, they've signed Barini, I think it is, from Roma. He's a silver. Um, I don't really know what he's like, but on FIFA he's a silver and he's had an inform uh, most of his stats are at 70 you should check him out see if he's any good leave in the comments if you played with him and if he's good but i haven't played with him but he goes from around 10 to 7k i think he varies the other day when i checked i'm not too sure but if you yeah if you played with him or if you're going to go and play with him now uh, just leave a comment in the comment section tell me what he's like and also I know Liverpool have put in a bid for Clint Dempsey and that's the first bid for Clint Dempsey in five years which is quite amazing because he's quite a good player um, so yeah Liverpool should have a strong team next year if they get him um, I know Tottenham might